<laughs> hey guys, it's Vengeance here, and wow, I'm doing a vlog. Yeah, um, so for the past couple of weeks or so, I've been busy, you know, working, but aside from working, I've been trying to quote unquote rebuild my uh, PC, and I always wanted like a, a PC that's, you know, has more cores, you know, for better rendering to help me out with my YouTube videos and all that. You, you guys know how it works. Now, the problem was is that. I could get like a six core gaming rig, but I still thought it was too expensive, like maybe at the 400 to 600 dollar range. Um, and I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go cheap. I'm gonna be cheap about it. And instead, I'm gonna show you guys on how I built my eight core gaming, quote unquote, gaming rig. So first of all, we needed the aesthetic of it. Like here, I'll show you. I had this black and blue you know themed pc it only had one fan in the front one fan in the back and it was an older generation pc so there was no cable monitoring on this none at all so it looks disgusting so i got this vivo case um uh, here i know i shot all my videos in the light but that's to i guess hide myself quote unquote even though my hands really aren't you know what, what they're gonna give me out um, but I got this nice Vivo case, and it fits an ATX, a micro ATX, and an ITX motherboard perfectly. However, since this is a server motherboard, I need an ATX-E or EATX, which is extended, meaning it's bigger. But since this case does not have a chassis, you know, to put your hard, hard, your, uh, hard drives and your uh, DVD drives or CD drives, I had just enough space with a little bit extra to have this fit on my uh on this case now keep in mind when i say fit i mean it's snug um but it's not screwed in very well like it's screwed in enough to where it can hold the weight there's no there's nothing wrong with it but it still feels a little bit flimsy now what we need is we need case fans now I was, why case fans first because case fans are the most important thing this vivo case came with three blue um fans but i say i said to myself you know what i don't want i love blue but i want a different color now so i instead bought eight corsair af120 fans i initially bought two but then i had problems with the motherboard which i'll get into later so then i bought another two because why not and at last I bought another two so I have eight Corsair AF120 fans after that I needed to think about the parts I went with the uh, two Intel Xeons 5 450s by Harper Town or I guess it doesn't really matter uh, clocked at 3.00 megahertz how the hell am I gonna cool these now you're like oh well you just buy yourself a, a heatsink right yeah, but most of the heat sinks aren't gonna work. Now, what do I mean by that? The reason why I say they aren't gonna work is because of the fact that these are meant to be in a server chassis, meaning that the chassis itself, or the case, if, as you want to call it, that's that passively cools the PC, meaning it'll spread heat all around the case, and and it will keep it cool. But the heat sink itself attaches to the case, so it can hold the motherboard as well. I don't have a server case. I want to put this in a quote unquote gaming tower. So, what I did was I bought these two um, Dell server heatsinks. I forgot their name. And I also got. Well, basically, I had to like ghetto rig it, jury rig it, whatever you want to call it. Um, and thankfully, this works because I have some CEK springs at the back which those attach to the chassis um but they're they have just enough you know space to take up that i can attach these um ever built uh screws and bolts that i bought or nuts and i could just screw the the nut at the end of it all the way to the top so it can uh hold steady if i didn't have those cek springs um there would be nowhere for me to you know screw and you know tighten it after that it was ram so for ram i went with some i think hp branded um ram it was 
um, 8 times 4, so all together it equals to 32 gigs. The maximum amount that this board can handle. I was hoping I could get maybe 64 gigs out of it, but this motherboard itself cannot handle that. Alright, so now I'm capturing actual uh, audio from the camera. It's shit, I know. Um, but this is a moment of truth. <sighs> Hopefully this PC works. I, I'm sorry I didn't show you all the setup. I don't really have a, a, a camera a stand. I have not I have to do everything with one hand. That's difficult. I don't have anybody else to hold the camera. Um, but let's see if this beautiful beast works. Oh, the white fans. See, these, these come with blue fans, but I, I bought the coarser ones. My, uh, my power supply, supply, my bad fan, is blue, but I'm okay with that. You know, I'll switch that out later for a, a coarser power supply to match the fans. I'm gonna buy two more fans and install them. I know you can't see, but like, under, down there, and two up there, but... Oh, look at that. You see the RAM. You see the... Well, it's, re it's dark, of course. Uh... Let me get the flashlight here, if I can find it nearby me. I'm sorry, again, the camera quality is shit, but you can see the the power supplies, everything works just fine. Um, I, I cable managed, so like, it looks it looks really good, like, when you see this, like, you know, firsthand. Um, I, I got a little special adapter because there is a 4-pin over there with the inclusion of the 8-pin somewhere around here. It's like right in front of my face. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Um, there you go. It's on. Can't really do like a... I mean, I guess I can see what we got here. Let's... Uh, hopefully it works. Enter setup. Let's, let's enter setup here. I also have bought a mechanical keyboard. It's an Intel Xeon server board. Hopefully the... Hopefully everything's working. That's that's all I really care about is that all of this works. Um, processor Intel Xeon. Yep, 3.0 gigahertz. How many of them? Two. Oh, beautiful. S and it's in a and it's in a in a Bevo gaming case. Like I specifically sought out this case, or, or not really, just a case like this that doesn't have like the mounting rack. I probably explained that in the video, but. Man, like, I, I have a weird filter that, like, blocks out, like, this looks blue, but it's it's actually white. Like, uh, I'll take a picture with the phone, it'll look much better. And I'll post up the pictures now. It just looks beautiful. Alright, so, quiet boot is enabled, what is the system time? Yeah, today's not Monday, nor is it 2001. Uh, I'm just so glad. It also counts the memory size as well, so 32 gigabytes, beautiful. It's, this is also, oh, it shut down on me. Oh, no, what happened? What happened? <sighs> and there goes the PC. Now what happened was is that my power supply was a cheap knockoff brand. Here are the you know, specs for it if you can read that. Uh, but it, it didn't give it enough power, it didn't give it enough ampage. Uh, so a few weeks later, maybe about three weeks, two weeks, I said, you know what, since I have Corsair fans, I'll buy myself a Quartzer power supply. So I got a CX750M, which is semi-modular. And it looks beautiful. It matches the aesthetic, although you can't see the power supply because it's being covered by um, like part of the chassis. It looks nice. It's black and white and you know it's, it's semi-modular so I can attach the wires that I need and not have all the spare wires in the back. Now, sorry I didn't record this portion, so hey, more black screen, but... Uh, when I did plug in the power supply, the power supply itself works just fine, it works perfectly, but the motherboard got fucked up because um, the ATX extender I was using, you could see it in the video earlier, there was like a colored ATX when um, the CX has just black wires. Um, it melted and it fused with some other wires and I guess that, you know, fucked up the cable itself, but it also fucked up the motherboard, so I had to buy a completely whole new, brand new motherboard, so... Ah, fuck me. I had to dis disassemble everything and reassemble it, so let's reassemble it, and let's hope it works. Ah, uh, finally got it. I, I don't know if you saw on the screen there, it was pretty fast, but now it's completing the installation of Windows. There's the server board. Um, I also added this fan because these um, RAM heatsinks actually do heat up, 
so I put a fan above them um, and yes it is held not tightly but it's held um, it's out of the box for now because this is actually a different server board uh, and I'll explain you know why in the better microphone but I had to use a old CD drive I had to install Windows via the disk and it's off an SSD you can't see the SSD but it's back there but there's the server board it's completing the installation of Windows which I'm actually extremely happy about hopefully nothing goes wrong as you can see there's the two C uh, Xeons here there's the two heat sinks um, it does get pretty toasty down here like it's actually hot um, but that's with every CPU right but up here it's actually really really cool like if I go in the middle I, like you can feel where the heat gets dissipated which is pretty good because this is taking air and blowing it out this way this is taking all that hotter and blowing it out this is blowing it cooler down taking all the hotter and blowing it up um, and I do apologize for my voice I'm sick but I wanted to get this done um, it always takes a while to com complete the installation of Windows so we gotta give that time um, but hopefully it works I'm gonna cut it off here and show you guys when it's you know done um, and, and all set up so see you guys in a bit all right and time for the moment of truth it's preparing my up oh, there it is <laughs> oh, I finally got this fucking thing up and running oh I feel so good right now oh, I'm sick but I feel so good I got the good old recycling bin there let's control out delete so give me a second Good. let's start that I could have done this by mouse I'm an idiot let's start the task manager Let's see the processes. Our performance. Ah, uh, there it is. CPU usage zero. I mean, you can't see it all, right? But CPU usage zero. Eight beautiful cores. Ah, uh, that's that's lovely. Ah, uh, it it works. It fucking works. Memory. Very little is being used because that's, I have a total of 32 gigabytes of memory. Oh, it's beautiful. I need to I need to uh, check the temperature, but I'll do that when everything's all nice and dandy and and, and uh, you know set up real good. I, I I fucking hate my voice right now. I'm sick as fuck. Well, moment of truth time, guys. <sighs> Turn on. It's a, it's a good sign. The blue light. I I have no idea what it means. It's something having to do with some shell casing or something. But there, uh, there you go. It's all powered. Turning on, I have the RAM fan there, the back fan there, two fans up top, uh, two white ones to keep the heat sink cold, three beautiful ones in the front as so I'm walking over a bunch of my screws, and two down here. This one's a little bit off, uh, but because I have I have a wireless adapter back there. But man, this looks this looks beautiful, like. I kind of wanted to plastic dip it white, but then again, it's a server board. That's and it's not one of the newer boards. This one has like a ton of chips, so I didn't want to risk it. But huge shout out to iModern Nation, who helped me out with most of this. So if you guys can check out iModern Nation's channel, um, there's some beeping going on. Reason why it beeped three times is because it's telling me I'm. An, if you can see in the video, it was telling me, "Hey, you're an idiot. You didn't power the graphics card." I forgot to plug in the graphics card to the power supply, so the graphics card had no power to show the display. That's why I was beeping at me. It's like, what are you, stupid? Which I am. Ooh, it's now finally complete. It's finally set up. Uh, there's the PC for proof. There's the CPUs. Um, here are all the cores shown on uh, core temp. Um, it is running a little uh, hot. Minimum temperature is like 45 Celsius, but then again, I... Uh, I reused the thermal paste that was, er that was already on there, which is a bad thing. You're supposed to always replace it every time you open a new CPU. So it, it's basically old thermal paste that's been used beforehand. Um, but this isn't running at game temperatures. Uh, it's just a menu. So I'm going to actually get in the game. and you know, It's not a very intensive game. It's Metal Gear. Um, so uh, let's just see how hot the temperatures get. I've never... Thankfully, I've never seen it go above, you know, I, have, I haven't done anything too intensive. I haven't run a good benchmark, um, but I've never seen it go above 80, um, at best 70. It hasn't gone above 80, but 
Uh, I'll share my results with you because the thing's about to die. The camera's about to die. All right, now time for the render test. I have the wildlife video or whatever. Um, there's my CPUs. It cooled down a bit. Those are usually the idle temperatures. It seems to go above 80. I've never seen it go anywhere. Um, it does freeze because that's because it's rendering, you know, like a frame by frame play. Um, the best I can say is it never goes above uh, 80. Like right there, the, this one clocked at 76. But keep in mind that these four cores right here up to the C3 this is this is the this is the one that I um, I use the old uh, thermal paste Th this one I did have enough for a new one that's why they're uh, cooler these fans these coarser fans are fucking fantastic now that it's all finished and uh, working you all are thinking to yourself well vengeance was it actually all worth it yes and no Yes, because this is something I wanted to do, and I love the idea of doing it. Um, plus, this is a server board. Not everybody has a quote-unquote gaming server board. I keep saying quote-unquote because server boards aren't meant for gaming, but uh, whatever. Um, and this is something very, like, niche. You could do it, and it's cheap, but make sure you get the right person to help you. Which is why I go for the note part, because I've gotten so many cuts and bruises on my hands. Um, I have counted about 16 cuts on my right hand, um, mostly because I'm an idiot, but because there was always like a fan hitting something and I was trying to figure out where it was. More than likely, it was my GPU fan or my graphics card fan, and when I would try to stop it, I would miss the middle because I'm an idiot, and I would cut myself against it. Um, and on my left hand, if you saw earlier in the video, I had um, gauze on it, but that's because uh, the I don't have much space because I don't have an office. I'm just in my room. Um, the, the case itself fell, um, one of the legs broke off, but that was easily fixed with the super glue. Um, I tried to catch it, and since the inside was pretty sharp, like, it basically slid against my hand, and I sliced my hand open. Um, I didn't need stitches, thankfully, or any staples, um, but it was pretty deep, so I had to, like, hold my skin together to stop it or close my hand. I couldn't open it for about three days so <laughs> this this literally took blood and sweat uh, to finish um, and now it's just some closing statements I guess um, if you guys enjoyed this um, then please leave a like leave a comment if you want to see more of this stuff shameless butt plug I'm sorry consider supporting my patreon um, if you do support my patreon I'll put you at, at your name at the end of the videos, you know, like, oh, what's everybody else does. I do not have any sort of goals created yet. Um, I'll make some soon. Um, I do have, like, I, I think I had, like, old goals there and old videos on, on why I did the Patreon, like, a long time ago. But you can watch those for a laugh if you want. Uh, so, if you really do want me to keep doing, uh, quote-unquote vlogs, I'm not gonna show my face, and do more projects, then consider supporting my Patreon or leave a comment saying you want to see more. Leave a like. Just support show me your support that you love this stuff and you want to see more also big shout outs i said it before in the actual camera recording video um big shout out to modern nation um please subscribe to his channel he gave me the idea to do a server board in the first place and plastic dip it but i didn't plastic dip it because it's a server board and it has a bunch of important chips and all that and it has lights on it that i need to see um i couldn't really cover the lights because uh, they're too small and there's a ton of them um if something goes wrong the lights specifically show me what's wrong so i couldn't really plastic dip it i was gonna plastic dip it white but anyways thank you all so much for watching hope you all enjoyed i'll see you all in the next one peace